To start your day off right, you have to make intentional choices as soon as you wake up. Before you reach for your phone, grab something to write on and think about what you're thankful for. You can read a devotional, you can write them down, whatever works best for you, but take some time to be grateful and positive at the beginning of your day. Next, get outside. While you're outside in the fresh air, you can continue thinking about what you're thankful for. It's really good for you to get outside barefoot. So a lot of times in the morning, I just like to walk around my yard and lately I've been watering it since it's been so dry where I live. Then it's time to get some exercise. And I definitely recommend stretching first, so that's what you'll see me doing here. I like to try out different types of exercises. Today I'm just doing some regular ab workouts, but I also like to do dances. Sometimes I go on a jog, uh, and sometimes a skip. I don't know. Uh, don't run in the road kids. Sometimes I like to watch workout YouTube videos and just follow those and There's a lot of really cool options for things you can do at home to stay active Also, make sure you are drinking enough water I'm just gonna call this self-care, but basically just take a shower refresh yourself and do your skincare routine Then it's time to get dressed and ready for the day. Even if you're not gonna be going out of the house, it's still important to get out of your pajamas, do your hair, makeup, or put on the clothes that make you feel good, and you'll find you're a lot more productive that way. Next up is breakfast, and obviously you're gonna feel better for the rest of your day if you started by eating something healthy and filling. So today I am making these egg muffins with my mom. I found the recipe online and I'll leave it in the description if you want because they were actually really good. Now that you won't be hungry, you can start your work, but first you're gonna have to clean off a space because if your space is cluttered, your mind will be cluttered, and that is just a really stressful experience. So it's important to clean off your workspace before you start trying to get work done. There's one more step before you dive into your work, and that is to make a to-do list. Basically, prioritize the things that you need to do that day from the most important and urgent to the least so that you can check them off in order and just make sure that it's actually realistic and doable so that by the end of the day you can actually have everything checked off and you can be proud of that. And now that you're all organized and ready to go, you can get to work and start checking off the things on your checklist. By this point, your day is off to a really great start, so just stay diligent and get everything done that you need to get done, but know it's also okay to take breaks and relax throughout the day. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like if it was helpful and comment something that you like to do in the mornings to start your day off right. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one.